Hi everyone, it's Eva Pitschak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share with you a concept that will make it a lot easier for you to set and achieve financial goals if your goals are financial. Now, I don't know if you guys have come across this amazing book by Bob Proctor called It's Not About the Money, but I love this phenomenal book. I think most of you may be familiar with You Were Born Rich or Think and Grow Rich, but this one is a, another one that I would highly recommend to read. And the name is It's Not About the Money. And this is what I want to talk to you about today. Very often I have clients who set financial goals and they don't feel passionate and they don't feel excited excited about their goals. There is a reason for it. Your goals are not about the money. Money is the tool to fulfill certain lifestyle, certain vision of what your life is going to be. Now, there might be some exceptions to the rule and for majority of us who never had money, like Bob Proctor, you know, at the age of 26, he was always in debt. He was earning $4,000 and owing $6,000. The first goal he had was money. It was $25,000 per year and it led him to 175,000 within one year doing his cleaning business. But right after that, he started assessing his financial goals differently. So how do you do this? Well, in order to design a lifestyle that is described by your financial goal, we have to do a how much is enough exercise. So what do we do? We take a piece of paper and we write out exactly how we want to live and how much it costs. So I really love uh, when Bob speaks about a majority of people overestimating how much they need in order to fulfill their, their goals, in order to fulfill their lifestyle goals, and then a lot of people settling for a lot less than they're capable of. We are not very... Um, trained at assessing our financial goals and describing them in picture terms. So that's why we have to learn to do this. I mean, I personally had to learn to do this. So how do you get excited about financial goals? Well, you describe them in terms of lifestyle goals. So what does my life look like and how much does it cost financially? So ask yourself these questions. You can look at, let's say, what sort of a house do you want to live in, in your ideal lifestyle choice? What sort of, how many holidays do you want to take per year? What does that cost? What sort of car you want to drive? How much does that cost? How many times do you, what sort of uh, colleges you want to put your kids through? What does that cost? What is the cost of your insurance? How much do you want to put on the side to your pension account, on your savings account? And you want to write those numbers. So you're writing sections of, let's say, your house you want to live in, your the car you want to drive, the holidays, the amount of times you want to go to restaurant, uh, all the insurance figures, if you want to gift to charities or you want to gift to your kids, if you want to put money in the pension account, you literally have to do a bit of thinking around it. Now, if you don't know how much your uh, your ideal house would cost, go and look it up. Maybe do a little research of similar houses and then think of what the cost of the mortgage would be per month. Start putting those numbers down and what's going to happen, your financial goal is going to be described in terms of lifestyle goal. And that will allow you to get a lot more excited because this is what you want to live. Very few of my clients, including myself, get excited by plain uh, notes or coins in the wallet or, or figures in the bank. We get excited by the life that we're going to be living, what we're going to be able to have, do, be, or give. So you want to create the picture of that lifestyle and put a number on each element. See, that activity, that exercise, what it's going to do for you, number one, it's going to help you assess how much is enough for you and what is exactly your financial goal. And number two, it's going to get you emotionally involved in your financial goal. So you're no longer going to be like, oh, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning 100,000 a year or 100,000 a month. And it's going to 
be dry affirmation that doesn't give you any emotion. You're going to be able to say things like, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm running successful business, earning 100,000 a year, and this is what now I'm able to do in my life, or this is how I'm living, this is the car I'm driving, this is how often we go on holidays with our families. That is what's going to give you emotional connection with your goal. And when you're emotionally connected with your goal, you're going to go 10 times faster. Now, finally, I'd love to introduce you guys to uh, two events that are happening this week actually, sorry, this month <laughs> on finances. I'm doing something truly special. As you guys know, I'm very passionate about earning, multiplying money and also managing finances. And I want to share this information with the globe. So what I'm doing this Wednesday, I will be running a webinar for international audience or anybody that cannot join us at the workshop towards the end of the month. It's going to be called the key to wealth. And we're going to be talking about principles of multiplying your income, and managing your money so that you have the financial goals that you want fulfilled in your life, just like today's tip. And then the second thing that we're going to do is truly special. It's going to be on the 18th of August this month here in Dublin. It's going to be a two and a half hour workshop, guys. The workshop where we will learn and design multiple income streams. So you will actually have opportunities to talk to other people in teams and create multiple income streams. So if you want to learn about that, it's really phenomenal. And I will, I will post both links under this video so that, so that you guys can join me and also share with those people that you love. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. It's not about the money. It's about the lifestyle that you want to create behind your financial goals. And I hope you will sit down and take time to really design what your lifestyle, desired lifestyle you wish for is look, looks like and how much it costs. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic week.